Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of uh, day two of the uh, Western Wall Dyer with the M10. So as you can see, I've got all the internal finish now, all weathered and ready to uh, be buttoned up. Unfortunately, well, it's given me a bit of experience on building something inside. It's, uh, I've added the Thompson machine gun there, which you can quite see is there. Strap on that and there, all the. Uh, and more tubes are all in. The engine is finished. I'm not going to bother putting any more bits into the engine. It's going to be covered up. So this is all going to be primed. Obviously, the outside, the rear end's all done, and the front end with the is all sort of thing. I haven't put the, the tool hooks on there. See, it looks like a, like a green. You are started using this. Um, the real colours. The first time I used it was yesterday on the uh, on the ammo. And what did I use? Was it this one first? The uh, that wasn't that one. It was this one here. And I have to say, it's nice. The colour is nice, and that's the new AK real colours. Olive drab, number nine, number twenty-two. Whatever number nine, and then number twenty-two is. But that's the AK. True colours or real colours, olive drab. So I used that on the uh, it's a bit of light coat, and then I did a bit of the uh, fading on them as well because obviously they're going to damage. I've got to just maybe just chip them slightly. I'm not too sure. I think I might just leave them as they are. But uh, so we've got that and the uh, the brass on the buckles on the whatever that is at the front. It's a case of some description. Or box the uh, radius. No, I, I was going to put all the, all of the details in, but because I'm not showing it as it as an internal kit, I didn't bother. I would have could have put um, you know earphones and things like that. But it's just going to be daft. But yeah, generally speaking, a nice build, really nice build so far. Fully enjoying it. It really is. It's uh, coming together nicely. So the next we will be doing from we've done up to step. Right, so we're going to start on step 17. Let me just move this forward out of the way. So we're on step 17 at the moment. This is where we're going to start with the, the two hatches, and then we're going to start building up the uh, the upper hull. Place the hatches onto there, little bits and pieces. All the uh, bolt-on applique armor bolts on the front, onto each one of the uh, nubs. Fire extinguisher again is where is that going? Aha, it's going on the underneath, which I'll probably do as well. May as well, it's there to be done. And then we start with the track racks, the tracks on there, and the headlights to be done, a couple of cable hooks to be done as well. The rear panel onto the upper hole. And same again with the building up the uh, track thing, track holders again. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Sorry, my apologies. Building up the tracks again onto here. Uh, Gee, I'll have to look at what that means. I'm quite too sure here. And then all the little gubbins is all the uh, filler caps. Uh, it's telling you to cut a piece off somewhere off there. Uh, these look like they're um, for the periscope. So. So I'll probably use something different for that. I might use the... Uh, I've got some different colour. Like a colour like the strips of, you know, like the people show you the uh, like streamers. I've got some of that stuff. So I may try, if I, if I maybe try and get them onto there as well. And then we start on the rear with the... I've started making a, a uh, colour in the uh, Pioneer tools. I haven't finished them yet. And then obviously we've got the light fittings, some more hooks. That takes us to 22, and then we're on to 23. Replacement again of a shit spade, which I won't be doing at that time, and the tanker bar. Oh, all these I won't put on at this present moment of time, and then we're attaching the lower hull to the upper hull. And then it's saying about the tracks, so I'll leave the tracks off at the moment because I haven't done the bogies or anything like that yet. So they're going to be built up as well, but I still haven't decided which. I'll probably do the late version, I would have thought. So it says here. Yeah, and then we'll stop at step 24. So basically, we're going to get all the upper hole done, get all that complete, 
Um, and then I'll get back to you on that. See if there's any, but so far the build's fine. No problems whatsoever. If there's any been any problems, it's of my own making. But uh, yeah, everything's fine. I'm really happy with it at the moment. So yeah, I have stuck a few bits of the front of panels on there and the panel on the back just to test fit and it goes on relatively easily. Just needs that's it. Just needs a bit of a pressing down on there and voila. So you are gonna see a bit of detail through the you know what I've done. So I'm tempted to leave the hatches open but well I don't know. So but yeah, so I'm happy with that. The light is rubbish again today, isn't it? The light is really rubbish again at the moment. So, yeah, so it's going to look something like that. And the louvers over the top of the, the doors for the engine. There again, I don't think I'll glue them down. I'll put them in there, but I won't glue them down because later on I'll probably take the M10 off the, uh, the dio. Uh, I'll probably use it as a, you know, add it, I'll add the bits and pieces to it, uh, display it as a, uh, you know, like I did with the Tiger a few uh, well, last year, was it last year or year before? Like I did with the Tiger. So what we'll do now is we'll carry on with the upper hull and then we'll get back to you. So we'll catch you very, very soon. Right, we're back again. Um, as you can see, I'll move these things that way, is I've, I've just primed this. I've got the, you know, from the extras that I showed you that I had. The sandbag and a couple of wheels there. So that made, basically made me decide what wheels I want to do. So. I'll be doing those ones, I think they're the early type, so it's not too bad. Um, right, so that's completely finished, you've seen the upper hull, uh, the internal stuff. So what I've done now is I've got all the all the upper hull done. Lights, hooks, so not, there's no the, uh, I'm putting the, the uh, Pioneer tools in. All the gas caps are all well, petrol caps, diesel caps, whatever you want to call them. A couple of handles on there. I put some of the track cracks in there, and also the little things for the applique armor that was never probably ever used. Fasten things on. Uh, got the hatches done. They're separate. I shall show you now. The hatches are. <coughs> You need these have to be primed and two of these obviously. <laughs> but they're gonna prime one, they prime the inside and they just sit on there like that. So two of those. So they're gonna be primed with the uh, grey and then the off-white. There, I've had to take a couple of um, Sink marks out. It's just you know, we've been in an older kit. There's a couple of stupid uh, injection marks in there, and I've also got the. You know, I was saying about the 50 cal had, had no uh, that much detail, and the barrel was wasn't at a hole in the end. So I've actually managed this time to get a hole in the end. If you can quite see that, and I'll show you what I used. Let me see that. If you can quite make it out or not, can't quite tell. Probably. So basically, what I I, I don't know who I picked it up from. I can't remember. So I went on to eBay and I bought some some of these uh, hypodermic needles. I think they were ninety nine pence for twenty or ten or something like that. Another one expensive, and they're brilliant. Because sometimes you've got the small drill and you need you can't quite get set off, but these with having the uh, the sharp point, you can just get in straight away. And obviously, they come with a nice cap again to put back, so they can be used again. And I've also got bought some um, actually syringes to go with them as well, because I've seen somebody you know where they are here, using these to apply. Um, Decal, decal fix, uh, pigment fixer. Instead of you know, put it on, you just, you just used it. So presumably, they will go on the end of there, which they do, and then there you go. So 
So that will be another thing to be able to use them for as well. So these were only pence as well, so you know I've got them. I'll try them when I do a deck when I do the pigment fix and see what they do it's like. Instead of paying one of these especially designed ones which cost an arm and a leg. You don't need it. Make get your own hypodermic needle. Yeah, so we're up we're at Wilpen running. We're up to let's just move these out of the way and put this back in here so I don't lose it and the hypodermic needle can go back in there. And the lid. I've got all the wheels ready to be primed. They're all on uh, they're all on there. So I'll be going next, I'll be priming those very very soon. So where are we at? Let's go back to where we started off from. So we've done all let me see. We've done all this, we've done step six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously we haven't put the, the bogies on yet. Excuse me. So that's basically all the internal stuff and on this side as well, which we have. I haven't put the um, exhaust in there yet, they're all made up, but not on the uh, the rear yet. All the ammo cases that are all done as you've seen, so we've done all that, engine's all finished. That's 16, 17 we've got the hatches done. We've got the hatch, uh, the engine covers, uh, positioning the driver's hatch and radio man's hatch. Uh, I'm not going to bother with any of the front, any of the uh, lights at the front because the the sandbags are going to cover them. Uh, I've got the, the gun crutch on the back, these for the tracks. I'll paint them separate to put them in after near the time. I've got the little fire extinguisher to go underneath, underneath in the in there. Sorry, you can't see in there. So this is where that white just to use a white eye left as well. Gotta put them back in there for the loser. So I've got to place that fire extinguisher in there. I've uh, done all this, done all this. Got the aerial mount already there. We'll put that one in. All the filler caps are already in. So none of the front because I'm not going to use any of the, home, the lights because it'll be the sandbags covering it. Rear, on the rear, we. Uh, I haven't done the Pioneer tools, but I've put the headlights and the uh, tow hook, what are these, they like hooks, lifting hooks. So that's 22, and it's saying again about putting more of the uh, Pioneer tools and the light guards. I've done the light guards on the back, Pioneer tools are all ready to go, and then we now have to assemble the lower hull to the uh, upper hull. But uh, I don't know if I'll be doing that quite yet, I might uh, just leave it separate at the moment. And the tracks, I've got the tracks, as you all know, the rubber tracks, but I'm, I did order a set of individual track links to build up, but they haven't arrived yet, so I'm going to try holding out until I, uh, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I may still use them, I don't know yet, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, so, yeah, but we've got the bogies to put it obviously together, so we're up to step 24, and then we're starting on step 25, which is the starting of the gun, the breech and the inside. So that'll be next. Also, I forgot to show you with the um, periscopes, the separate, but they're not, there's no glass, uh, clear glass. So I've got many people use this stuff. I've got a lot of roll of this stuff. I've got red, it's uh, like you know, shiny, shiny stuff. Yeah. I bought a length for that, I think about a couple of meter length for 50p or something. So these are the actual. Then the uh, periscope covers going to go on the outside, so I'll, I'll put them on there. Got them on; they're on too bad. So I might just sort of slightly darken them down slightly, just so they're not in your face as much. Obviously, there's the uh, fire extinguisher for the uh, inside. Now we got to the inside of it. Where we are, which is there. That's ready to go. It's pretty. I'm going to do decals to put on them. But I did see a few kits with decals for the fire extinguisher and for the shelves as well. I may try and uh, see if I can find some online. Probably a bit too late for this build now. Uh, I've also done the uh, started on some of the you know, painting on the sprue, the uh, stowage on the back, and we've started doing the pioneer tools at the top there. 
you know, the, the axe, the hammer, another hammer with sort of a casement, then we've got the bars, the tanker's bar, the starter handle, manual starter handle, uh, thing for the base for the guns. These aren't quite finished yet, they're not far off, but they're getting there. So that's where we are with that. So basically now what we can really start thinking about is starting to do the turret. Um, so we're, we start at 25. So we'll start putting the breech together. Uh, 26 is carrying on again with the breech. 26 is the lower part of the uh, the turret with the uh, seats and handles and wheels and other bits and pieces. So keep looking at, should be looking at the camera. So we'll look, that's 26. Right, so. And then we're starting with the uh, the ammo as well. I do have some brass shells, so I may make my own. I'll see what these look like because I know they're all molded together, but we'll see. I may may, may not use those yet. Uh, and then we're starting to put the low hull to the bottom, which I won't be doing because I've got a um, spray on the inside of that, so I won't be putting any of them things on. Well, I'll be putting them on, but I won't be putting them in fastened together yet. So we'll probably get to around about step 28 uh, and then we'll just come back and see where we are with the internal stuff what colours, just going to check all the colours, I think they're all uh, the same colour as the outside if I'm not mistaken, all this should be olive grey, olive grey, olive green but um, we'll get to step 20, we'll do step 27 and we'll stop at step 28 and we'll assess where we are from there so that's what we'll do so I shall make a start on that as well. But I'll probably also prime the upper hull as well. I'll take them off because I can see me losing them. Uh, I'll prime the upper hull. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to prime it instead of black, uh, like I did with the internal. I'm going to prime it grey. MIG surface primer, grey prime, which is MIG 2002. Okay. Couple of activators in there. So I'll probably spray the whole that grey. This to be all the all the external will be grey, and I've seen somebody. I'm going to use the colour that I used, which I will be using for the main body colour. I'm going to use that as the uh, highlight coat. So I'm going to go around all the nooks and crannies with the uh, it's the true colour one of the olive drab. So I'll try that. So I'll probably do that off camera. You, you don't need to see it, but I can show you the actual end end product as well with that so I'll be doing that and then I'll be doing up to step 28 so that's where we are at the moment chaps so, and chap S's so I shall see you very very soon again and we'll carry on with the M10 build but before we go I also need to start thinking about the diorama I have all the stuff that I do need to have so once I've got because it's quite long I'm going to have to clear the bench a little bit and start it once the I'll get the M10 completely finished first uh, I'll do the crew later. Uh, my good friend Neil, Neil McKay. I'll leave a link on his um, on the comment box for his his, um, his YouTube channel. Pay Neil a visit. He's, he's really into his figures, and some of the stuff he's not he's producing at the moment is absolutely superb. So he's going to paint me some old Tamiya um, American infantry to go with this build and I say I've got the uh, which I showed you the uh, mini art tank crew to go for the inside so Neil's going to do my figures well she's made a start on them he's going to do the and what I've seen so far puts my figure work to shame but uh, it'll look really nice when it's done when they're all done and he says he's got a few he's changing a few pauses as well so it'll be interesting to see but yeah we're coming along We'll get this primed, get up to step 28 with the turret. Uh, what else did I say? And I'll do all that as well, and then we'll get back to you. So, this is Greg signing off, and we'll see you very, very soon. Right, we're back again. We can explain what we've been doing up until this point. First of all, you can see that I did the uh, grey, you've seen it grey, so I went around with the same colour, the uh, olive drab, just to highlight things. 
on the side but on the front this isn't attached yet not anything is attached yet I mean underneath needs fire extinguisher just need a bit of weathering underneath there we'll put these bits away as we go on along and we don't get them all mixed up I've done most of the building is after you've done I've glued and built and built them that's the uh, the counterweight the dashable duck bill what it's called and again that's all pre-shaded as well that's ready to go for the turret the uh, the barrel is a metal barrel which I've just let me just get a better bit that's painted and there's again it's just all highlighted with the green AK real colours which I must admit I do like uh, the hatches these have got to be finished off here at the back side needs to be painted white where we are they both need to be painted white underneath and a bit of uh, chipping to be done on those yet the MG is getting there slowly let me see there we are it's getting there all weathering yet, but we're getting there with it. See, sorry, I haven't got the what's the handles and anything on yet, but we're getting there with it. I thought I'd just use the kit one while it was there because I managed to get the, the hole in it, like I said, with the uh, small uh, what am I call them needles, syringe needles. Right, turret is not together it's all just dry fitted at the moment so I've got all the inside done and all these boxes and other bits and pieces are the PE that came that I bought they're all boxes seats, there's one more seat to add at the moment which is flipped up but I've had to um, take the injection marks out of it and it's just drying at the moment this all needs weathered obviously, this is just the base coat so it needs to be highlighted with the uh, faded olive green and then chipped and marked the, the gun breech and there again all the outside is that way done again and underneath I've got this to be all silver or you know metalised the teeth on the cogs, there's one more seat to go, so if you look at these seats there you can see the injection marks but I wasn't too bothered about those because it's going to be that way on but the other C he's flipped up so you will see it so I'm not too bothered about those injection marks on the bottom right that's the uh, the seat with the injection covers injection covers the injection marks taken out so that's ready to go on and obviously these have to be weathered as well well the the base is just the same apart from where's the pointy stick that I had. This one. These I've just made, these are the straps. These are PE straps which I've just I'll bring that thing up to the camera, it'll be easier to see, won't you? They aren't fastened down yet, they aren't painted, I've just made them at the moment. So they're all fat to be fastened down, they were a bugger to make it. Three, four different pieces on these on these straps. But time, a bit of time, a bit of effort, it'll be uh, They'll be okay, so they have to be painted up yet. Yeah, but I've left them on there, so I know where they are. And apart from that, everything else is the same on there. The wheels are now primed. They're all primed. So I've decided to go with the whoop, early type. They're all primed and ready to be uh, painted. And what have I dropped there? What have we dropped? Ah, oh, yes. All the exhausts are primed, these aren't on yet, there's two exhausts obviously, there's a bit of extra storage they give you with it, so I've uh, given the, these have been coated with the primer and then the uh, the olive green, olive drab sorry. And again there's another one, just these little boxes that are cave, so I'm going to use them all up somewhere along the line on it. And we have the we have three of those, three of those, they're all primed and ready to be finished. There's one slightly different, and which one is it? It's this one. This one is slightly different. It's got actual markings on there as well, which I thought was quite nice. 
I put it the wrong way around, so I'll have to take it out and put it in the right way around. And then it's going to be hidden otherwise. So we're getting there. Let's have a look at. We'll have a look at the uh, the instructions now. See where we actually where we actually are up to. I shall just drop these. Bring these back up because I know me. I will lose them if I don't be careful. Oh, sorry about the tow rope done as well. Well, it's getting there, I should say. Let me just... It's just been slightly metalised at the moment, but I need a few, a bit of a rust wash on there as well. So, it's getting there. So, that's out of the way. Right, let's have a look where we are. What we've got else we've done since that. Ah, sorry, yeah, we have the uh, the shells, which I'm going to make the P brackets probably as well, which I've got them sort of. I may just leave them like a 100% shoe here, but they're, they're okay, they're not too bad at the moment. They need the, the coat of black on there. I'm, just, I'm trying to find some decals for the fire extinguishers and for the ammo, and I can't find them anywhere at all. Nothing at all. So if anybody knows, or. Ooh, where I could get them, could they point me in the right direction? But leave it in the comments below. We have all the uh, finished all the weathering on the uh, so weather it all the, the tools. They're all ready to be put on at a later date. There's a start Randall tanker bar. Don't know what that big one is. We've got the axe, another bar, sledgehammer, two sledgehammers. And then we have two shovels, pick head axe, and these are the spare, that's for the 50 cal. And then we have, there's the base core with the uh, two satchels which, which come with the kit. But I have a few more bits and pieces in my spares which I'm going to use as a bit of storage. I'm not going to overly storage it, but I'm going to put some extra bits on. So let's go back to what we said, we're going to go back to the instructions. So, let me move that over a bit, so we can see. Right, so we started off at number six. Sorry, number six. Can't even count. We started off at number twenty-five. So we assembled all the gun in the uh, in workings for the gun breach. The gun breach, fairly straightforward. This part did not seem to be long enough. It just seems to be dangling in midair. But I can't find a decent picture of it. What it should be like, but you can't see it once it's in the once it's in the uh, in the carriage. All this is done. Yes. Yeah, so Wheels, all this, the bracket, these all need weathering. Obviously, these are just being coated in the uh, grey and then the uh, olive drab. And these are the seats. I was saying about there's two there and one which is risen up, as you will see the injection marks. So that's the one's got to go in yet. So that's 26. So we put the breech, we said none of the. Um, it is, it is, it's all dry fitted, and so all this will come out. So that we've done all that. We haven't done these yet because I'm undecided if I want to do this, the individual ones, and cut all these off. But I do have some shells, some brass shells. So I'm going to compare them just to see if they're okay to do that with the um, with the brackets. Um, yep, yeah, put this the duck bill on the back. That's the counterweight, which is all made up. All these little bits and pieces inside the turret, plus all the PE that I put in there. And then we assemble that into the bottom of the hole. Sorry, you can't see. So then the counterweight. That's the counterweight all done up as well. This is all basically done. All the all the little bits and pieces plus the PE which is inside the turret. I'll hopefully I'll have decided if I'm going to do those that I've made or do the individual ones with the straps. Uh, I'm not going to put it together until I've weathered. I'll see what it's like. Well, it's dry fitted. I may be able to weather the uh, the gun breech. Where are we got again? Gun breech before it's assembled. I'll see. And then we're attaching the duck bill to the back. I've put these one, two, three, four, five on. I haven't put the toe the toe eyes. Can't see again. The toe eyes on. Them that they aren't on yet. So that's where we are at the moment, as far as the you know. 
the direction as I've said but I'll see I've actually built obviously we've got the gun um, the melt metal barrel so I didn't, didn't do that I've got this to finish I'm trying to find I might it won't fit in there now with the PE so I'm going to have to try and find a way of fit, making it fit the PE which shouldn't be a too problem these are on uh, that's on there all that I'm not going to bother with the roofs roofs the well this is a roof I'm not going to bother with that I don't think at the moment uh, that's just giving you a little show what's to be there these are positioned which is quite nice as you wish to show you a few other items as well further on sorry uh, that we've put together all these are together on the gun mantlet I've started assembling the um, the 50 cal I'm not going to put the, the 30 cal on so we've just got the 50 cal there oh god it's got again come on Mr. Riley get your act together yeah so that's all fixed up apart from the uh, handle and the side handle they've got to go on yeah they're ready to go on but not quite dry enough and then it's basically put everything up the low hole and the turret together and the 50 cal or 30 cal and it's give you some optional parts this is give you a sprue with all these numbers on it's it's impossible to get them off I don't know how they expect you to do it I've tried so many different things to put a cast marking on the turret um, where's the, where is the uh, I'll show you what I mean if I can find the actual sprue is it this it is it, is it? No. There it is. Well, if we look, let's give you all these. Fair enough, I can get the bolts off, that's no problem. But when you come in to put the cast number on it, it's a virtual impossibility to get them off. It really is an impossibility to get them off, and so you can see the clear lettering. I've tried all sorts sharp knives. I just, I just can't get them off to, so they recognise the actual what it says. So anybody any ideas? Please let me know. I'm debating on using a bit of these spare track links as extra armour. I may put them on the side but there again I may not. Unsure, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably leave them as they are. Yeah, so there's, there's obviously a lot of parts left because this is for, also for the GMC version as well. The M10 so there's a few extra bits and pieces for the GM, so we've got some more for the spares box. So that's that. And you know we've built the, uh, the jerry cans and the tow rope. So basically the building is done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set the air gun up and I'm going to give the uh, inside of the turret. No, no I'm not actually, because I can't do that. I cannot. I'll show you, I'll still put the air gun on and we'll start thinking about getting everything uh, painted. You know, the uh, the upper hull, low hull and the outside of the uh, the turret, which is the same as the inside. So I'll probably be doing that next. So what I'll do then is I'll get the airbrush set up with the... Uh, I'll just show you those colours again in case we've forgotten. If I didn't show them, I probably will have shown them, but... Very easy, very similar to uh, thinning as, as um, to me, your paints. They're quite thick, so you give you quite a lot. So that's the, what the olive drab is, the UK olive, that's the faded one, sorry, my apologies. That's going to go on last. And we have the normal olive drab there, number 9 or number 22. I'm not sure why, number 9. Oh, set 9, number 22, I see that's where it is. So presumably you can buy all these individually as well. So I'm the thin as I've been using, I did show you if I can't remember if I did show you or not on the last one. Where I put the blimmin' thing at now, the thinness for it. Unprepared as normal, unprepared as normal. Where the heck have I put that? Ah, hiding behind these. Uh, this was kindly donated to me by uh, Mr. Mottram. He swears by it. It's Mr. Colour Leveling Thinner. So that's what I'll be thinning the AK stuff down with. So what I'll do now is actually before I start, 
doing this. I think we'll call this the end of update two because I've got to say I want a few little bits and pieces to finish before I do start priming the uh, giving the tank its first coat, like the uh, painting the the straps on the uh, on the um, on the ammo racks. And then obviously I've got to mask all this off inside so nothing gets inside when it's all done. So I'll be doing those, 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 those and those. Uh, putting the seat in. Just trying to get the, auto, the uh, ammunition into there. And then we shall start off update 3 with the um, starting of painting I think. I think that's probably better. So I can finish off all those other bits and pieces. So that's the, sorry I forgot to show you, that's the part with the ammo, it looks a bit bland so I don't know if I'm going to cut it down and fit it into there, I'll just take the top the top off and make it a solid part and then just slip it into the uh, into there, if I can for the 50 cal, so that's something else I'll have to think about as well so yeah, rabbit on as rubbish as normal so we'll call this end of update 2 and we'll start with update 3 with the starting of the uh, the painting one of my favourite parts. Uh, shouldn't take too long to say the most of the tank is now built obviously. So the weathering will take quite a while. I like to spend a bit of time on the weathering. And then eventually we can start doing the diorama, which is the next big thing. Uh, and as you know Mr Neil Mackay, I'll leave his uh, YouTube link. He's painting my uh, American GIs for me, which he kindly said he'd do for me. I have a tank crew to for this to be painted as well, so I'll I'll have, a, I'll have an attempt at the tank crew. So we'll see the difference when Neil's figures come to mind. We'll see a vast difference. Neil's will be superb, mine will be sort of average looking. But we all gotta learn somewhere, haven't we? So I think that's where we'll uh, call it a day at the moment. So thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you very very soon with the start of update three. So this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you very soon.